hello and welcome to today's video in today's video i'll be showing you how to use post processing that comes with the universal render pipeline so this is the scene that we'll be using today and uh, this is uh, our scene with uh, post processing and this is it without post processing so you can clearly see the difference that post processing makes and uh, one thing to note here is that you will not need uh, the post processing that comes with the package manager you will not need to install that post processing that you find in the package manager so just have to keep that in mind uh, once you create uh, a new project using the universal render pipeline you have to set up uh, a few things and those few things i'm about to show you so with that said let's begin the video and uh yeah okay so here i have a clean scene so the first thing that we're going to do here is um we're going to go to our game object there we're going to say create an empty and uh, this empty i'll just rename it to post processing and uh, i'm going to just drag this all the way up to the top and put it somewhere there and now next what we'll have to do is um we're going to say add and we're going to type in here the volume so this is the volume that comes with the the universal render pipeline you won't have to install the uh, uni you won't have to install the post processing that comes with uh, the package manager so you just click on this volume here you just click on that and it's going to create for us this script here so now we're going to go down here and uh, say new so it's going to create for us a new post processing profile and now that that's done uh, next thing we're going to do here is i'm going to click on add override and i'm going to click on post processing and i'll start with uh, this right here and i'm going to select all and uh, here i'm going to say i'm just going to randomly increase this and as you can see here nothing is happening it's not rendering anything and that's because we have to go to our camera and you can go to where your camera is mine is in the fps controller so once you go to your camera you have to go down to uh, you have to go to your camera there and then in camera you have to go to rendering and enable post processing and you can now tell that the vignette is taking place right now so with that done we can go back to our post processing manager so we'll just go back to our post processing manager there and continue with our work so for this i'll leave it as this is for now but uh, we're going to move on to uh, the next effect which is the bloom so i'm going to add the bloom and for this bloom i don't really want to add too much so i'm going to say uh, i'm going to enable all of these and once that's done i'll leave the threshold as it is for bloom i don't really want that much so you can tell it's uh, already taking effect on the sun there so i'll add uh, this much not too much not too little and now we can enable uh, this high quality feature uh, high quality filtering so enable that and next what we're going to do is we'll move on from uh, this back to our vignette so in our vignette i think uh, we can play around with the smoothness so in the smoothness i'm going to say uh, let's add a bit more there maybe about that much um yeah it looks uh, quite okay uh we're going to move on i'll just close this up here and close that one too oh no not that one this one and going to add another override and our next override that will be adding will be um we'll add the channel mixer so channel mixer and we'll move to the blue section here we're going to say enable all and now for the blue section here we're going to let's go for negatives here 
specifically that's too much so let's uh, type in here maybe if 10 uh, no let's go for maybe six okay that will be enough now and then on the green here we're going to try to, uh, let's see how much we need too much blue Let's, let's try some random numbers 20 how, how does 20 look okay 20 looks okay but uh, I want a bit more I might say maybe 30 yeah I'll go with 30 for now and uh, the blue here we'll leave it as it is now we'll move on to the next part of the channel mixer which is on the green so here on the green we're going to say let's try this let's go for a negative it's way too much let me just uh, manually input that so negative four maybe it's subtle change but uh, it's there then here we'll leave this green on 100 and uh, i think also for the blue here um, uh, we'll leave the blue on zero and let's just move on to the red and on the red we're going to say we'll leave this as 100 this is just okay here what we want here is the green so we're going to say maybe 30 yeah 30 maybe 39 or oh, let me just say 40 well, that looks quite okay so 40 is what we're going to go with okay um yeah i think that's all for channel for the channel mixer next thing that we're going to play around with is uh what can we play around with here we'll play around with uh the color adjustment so we're going to click that and we're going to enable all and here we'll leave the post exposure as it is but we'll go to our contrast and play around with that so too much way too much okay let's just manually type in some random numbers 1.70 uh, maybe okay i'll stick with that and now we'll move on to our hue shift so for the hue shift uh, let's try i know again let's just try entering our number manually so we'll start with three no, uh, let's try four point uh, 50 4.50 and uh, let's go to our saturation for saturation let's try 52 yeah that looks quite okay let's maybe add a bit more maybe 54 okay yeah i will leave saturation as that and uh, lastly this is for the player so i'm going to add uh, our motion blur so we're going to add that there add the motion blur then we're going to say as usual enable all and on quality here we're going to change this to high so change the quality to high and then on our intensity we can play around with the intensity we won't be able to see the changes here so let me just uh, manually put something that's uh, sensible so let's try 0 0.250 uh, i'm sure that would be good enough and for this we'll leave it as it is in the clamp we'll leave that as it is and we'll just close up this and uh, look at our scene now so i'm going to run this right now Okay, so here's our scene. 
and uh, it looks far far much better than it was like before and uh, the whole point of this video is for me to just show you how to use post processing in the universal render pipeline because uh, Unity will not allow you to use uh, post processing from the package manager and uh, yeah that's pretty much it because uh, universal render pipeline comes with its own built-in uh, post processing so you do not need to install the post processing that comes in the package manager so you just have to note that keep that in mind and uh, yeah one more thing let me go to the lighting section so for you to get this you just have to go to window rendering and then lighting settings and this window will pop up so i'll just add fog some fog so i'll just uh, click on that and it makes it much much uh, much much better so okay that's enough for that and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you found it uh, useful and helpful then please uh, leave a like share and uh, subscribe and uh, with that said uh, i hope you learned some things for watching and i'll see you in the next video and uh, yeah goodbye